Hi Leo, welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing well. We're gonna do uh, the Hidden Truth uh, reading here for you. I'm gonna pull a few messages here of the Hidden Truth and then we're gonna get into your tarot. But a couple things uh, before I get started. Uh, I have opened up personal readings um, again. So details are below, if you'd like to contact me. Also, I am giving away one free personal reading, um, and uh, to enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and leave a comment, all right? I will pick a random winner the first week of every month, uh, so good luck if you'd like to enter, and let's get started here with your reading. I already did some pre-shuffle, so I'm going to do one more here. the cards all right Leo thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what messages do you have here for Leo what does Leo want to know or what does Leo need to know okay this is going to be about what your person is thinking or feeling okay what's the truth here what's the truth uh, from Leo's person okay so we have the three of cups we have the Justice card, and we have, wow, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Ten of Wands, okay. Three of Cups here. You know, I feel like this is a favorable time for you, Leo. It does feel like things could turn out in your favor, depending on what you're wanting here. Okay, could be that you could get some sort of confess confession here that's going to make you very happy. You do have the Ten of Wands, though, all right? So it may have been a struggle to get here, but look at that, the Ace of Swords. I feel like there could be some sort of truth here, or uh, you get the big picture here from someone, okay? Some communication, some clarity here. Look at that. You also have the Ace of Cups there as well so it could be an indication here right could be somebody wanting to confess their feelings their emotions i'm just gonna say well actually i'm not gonna say we're gonna pull three more cards first let's see what else here what else does leo want need to know now we have strong libra energy we also have here cancer scorpio and pisces what does leo need to know about what this person is thinking um or feeling what's the truth here uh, that Leo needs to know from their person. Okay, seven of wands, eight of cups here, three of wands. Okay, interesting. Ace of swords, yeah. There was something I feel in the past here with the Three of Cups and the Seven of Wands that was blocking this connection, okay? I feel like this person was blocking um, their feelings, their emotions here in the past about how they felt about you, okay? So the walls, they were definitely guarded. I'm going to say for some of you, I feel like there could be a third party situation. That's not going to be everybody here. You have Justice and you have the Eight of Cups, right? And with that energy there... I feel like uh, this is somebody uh, who I feel wasn't content where they were. Maybe they weren't emotionally available. They were blocking their feelings for you is the energy that I get there. But I feel like the truth is going to come out here with this Ace of Swords. Okay. We also have here the Three of Wands. So I feel like this is somebody who has done a lot of thinking, right, about their feelings for you. Let's clarify each of these and see uh, what comes out here. Why is the Seven of Wands and the Three of Cups here, please? Why is the Seven of Wands and Three of Cups here, please? Okay, so we have the Moon card. We have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, this is someone who pulled back emotionally, okay? They may have made you feel alone. They may have not uh, valued you, okay? Or you didn't feel valued by this person. But it was. it doesn't necessarily mean that this person didn't value you. Now, it could be if there was a third party involved. But I feel like this is someone who was just basically 
holding back and uh, guarding their heart. Okay, this is a, this is someone I feel who has the fear of getting hurt. So whether they move from one person to the next person because they they're afraid of getting too close or getting too hurt, whether it was you know if you you're not in a third party situation, it could just be this person was trying to block their feelings and emotions for you, right? They were trying to detach. And um, I'm going to say here too, this may be somebody here who's needing forgiveness, right? Um, let's see why the Justice and the Eight of Cups. Some of you, this could be somebody that you're in legal separation with or maybe divorced even. Uh, but for others, you know, this is just someone I feel who has been emotionally unavailable. Okay, and they, and they may have, I just saw the Seven of Cups. They may have some sort of confession here. Okay, so you have the Five of Wands, you have the Nine of Cups, and you have the Empress, okay? Bottom of the deck here, yeah, Three of Swords, okay? Three of Swords here as well. We pretty much have all the energies on the board here, I think, now. Actually, we don't have any Earth yet. Um... But I feel like this person here, they definitely struggle emotionally. You do have the Five of Wands. You have uh, the Empress, the Nine of Cups here with the Eight of Cups and the Justice. I feel like this is somebody who is having an internal struggle around how they feel about you. I do feel like you make this person really happy when the two of you are together. But I also get here that this is someone who is struggling to really express how they feel to you, okay? Now, for some of you, it may be, right, they could have broke your heart. But for others, I feel this person may have had a past situation, right? Could be a trauma, could be a loss of somebody in their life, or even just a breakup with somebody. Um, you know, I actually read that a breakup with somebody is just the experience is just as hard as, as a death or a loss okay so this is someone who i feel is really guarded really guarded with their feelings and emotions why is the wheel and the ten of wands or the three of wands here please okay we got the eight of pentacles we got the three of wands again and we have the lovers, okay? Strong Gemini energy, and we have the Page of Pentacles, all right? So if you haven't heard from this person, okay, you're gonna hear from this person. There's definitely, with the Ace of Swords here, Page of Pentacles, there's some sort of, there's communication that's coming. This is someone I feel, they, ha they have something to confess, they have something to say, right? But they're struggling, I feel, with the, with the emotions and the words, what they're going to say. Okay, because this is someone I feel in the past, they weren't very vulnerable, they weren't very open with you, and they know that for things to change, okay, to move in the right direction. This is someone seriously thinking about the future, okay, thinking about taking things to the next level. I mean, the three of wands, and then you got the four of wands, right? Four of wands would be relationship, marriage here. This is someone getting ready to take that next step. Now you have the Eight of Pentacles, again, the Three of Wands, and the Lovers. This tells me this person wants to work on things, but they're struggling with, I feel, to confess their feelings, right? Or to struggling with the words. Maybe some of you, they need to give you some sort of apology, I'm going to say as well. So let's see where this is all going. Where is this all going, okay? Uh, with this person with Leo and this person and then I'm going to ask what their intentions are Where is this all going uh, with Leo and their person? What's the truth here? Okay, three of swords. Yeah fell in that area here, right? There was some heartache here some heartbreak So either your person experienced something that prevented them right from opening up vulnerably or there was actually some heartbreak between you and this person Okay, we got the fool taking that risk, that leap of faith. Yeah, that's what they need to do. That's this person doesn't want to be alone. This person wants a companion. You can see the dog there. That's the fool's companion there. This person wants to take that risk, that leap of faith here, right? And you know, ten of wands here. Okay, they need to let go of the burden here that they've been carrying with them, right? To, to um 
take a step forward. And I feel like they're going to do that because look at that. You got the Page of Cups here. Okay, so this is someone I feel. They're going to open up slowly. They're going to start with small communication is what I get from your person here. But this person's going to start to, to open up and be vulnerable with you. But they're going to do it in, in small increments here. So let's see what your hidden truth messages are here. Okay, so you have here, I don't react when people mention you, okay? That's the person there, right, being very guarded, right, guarded with their feelings and their emotions. So that means that people are asking about you, okay? So they're asking about you because you uh, were special in this person's life at one time or you are now. And, um, but they're not going to react, okay, because this is someone who is very, very guarded is what I see here. You also have here, I am so attracted to you. And you also have here, we will be together again. Okay. And I feel that energy here. I feel like this person is trying to get past some sort of heartbreak, right? That happened in their life. Okay. They're trying to take that risk, that leap of faith. Okay. But this is someone who has the fear of getting hurt or they're just very fearful of their emotions, right? So Leo, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.